Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today I've got a very lovely little tailor on my lap. Now this is actually an 812 CE. Now this is their 12 fret to body kind of addition of these instruments. And it is by far one of the most comfortable playing tailors I've ever encountered. Now it's got a really lovely sunburst spruce top on it with a rosewood pick guard that's, you might be able to hear that, it's nice and grainy. Um, but as you can see, this bridge is quite low in the belly. And I think that with the sunburst looks really cool because then it kind of highlights how low this bridge is. But it's got a really high grade set of East Indian Rosewood for the back and sides. And it's bound all the way around with a non-flamed speckly maple. And they also did a little thin maple strip down the center of the back here. Now on the face, it also has a black maple and what looks like walnut, um, purfling all the way around that hasn't been touched by the the sunburst which is actually really cool to look at because it provides a little bit of breakup in color palette that bleeds into that sunburst now another thing that's contributing to why it's so comfortable is this arm bevel here that they actually did a rosewood cap but these arm bevels are just super smooth you just you hardly feel any transition into the top and into the side there now being it's a 12 fretter it does move everything down so to reach the first fret is right there you don't have to go over here at all same thing on this particular the way that they orient the neck it's a slotted headstock so all the tuners are facing right at you. So it's really easy to tune very quickly on the go. Um, and being a short scale, everything's a little more condensed. So you've got plenty of fret as you get up here and a deep cutaway to access them. But you pretty much have the exact octave right here at the body joint. So it's, it's really easy to look down and understand where you're at. If you're a beginning player or even an advanced player, this just condenses what you're looking at. I, so I've, I've always been drawn to 12 writers, both because the additional tone that you get out of having the bridge this low on the belly, but the fact that you don't have to reach so far and twist your wrist so much to get to some of these really cool lower chords. Uh, it's just less work on the left hand. Now, it is a mahogany neck that's got a nice even C all the way up through, even though it's a slotted headstock. A lot of people will do those diamond backs or Vs, but Taylor has their own kind of way of achieving that. Um, but it's, a, it's got a, a stripy ebony fretboard with their kind of swooped, abalone inlay or mother of pearl inlays all the way up through the frets now another thing that i love that they do is they use a black graph tech nut that way so that you don't see the transition from the dark fretboard into this rosewood head cap that they have here i lied it's actually it's kind of a colorful ebony that almost looks like rosewood. Um, but it goes very well with these upgraded three to a plate Waverly tuners here with mother of pearl buttons on it. Now, enough about how beautiful and cute this little guitar is. Yes, it is beyond comfortable to play, but most importantly, so satisfying to play. The tone of this thing is just quite
quite open and immediate. You really get to play this thing with minimal effort. It's almost kind of like the experience of playing an electric guitar. But with good tone. <laughs> Now, it does come with their expression system, so you've got the three knobs here. Um, and also, what I do like about the expression system is the battery access is included in their end pin here. So it's really easy to change that out if the battery ever dies in the middle of the gig. Boom, you pop it out, put a new one in. You don't have to reach in the sound hole and find the battery pack or anything like that. And you don't have a obtrusive battery door that's been cut into the sides. Um, now, another thing that I should mention is that they went ahead and did some ebony pins on this with abalone dots to kind of go along with some of the ornaments that they have going on. For instance, the abalone rosette that's been wrapped with what looks like walnut. The same kind of theme that's around the outside of the trim. Now, if you've got any other further questions about this lovely 2022 Taylor 812 CE 12 fretter, that's a lot of numbers to go by. But you can message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com with any questions that you have about this instrument. And thanks for listening. <laughs>